Hey internet friends, I did a video for drop.com about open back versus closed back headphones. What's the difference? Why is open back and a cool technical demonstration of comb filtering? I think I find it useful, so I'll show you, but I want to add to it a bit on the end. Three situations where closed back headphones are better. Unusual situations, but situations nonetheless. Let's take a look. My name is Multiplier. I'm a music producer, record label owner, sound designer, YouTube influencer, music educator. And let me show you something called open back headphones. Have you heard of them? Open back headphones have these holes in on the back so the sound can go through. The speaker itself is still protected, but the holes allow the sound to escape. And here's why that's important. With closed back headphones, the sound bounces off the back. With closed back headphones, you hear the sound twice. Once as it goes directly into your ears, but a second time as it bounces off the back. This colours the sound and so you're not hearing what you're making. Imagine putting a speaker here and a wall here. You're going to hear the original sound plus this reflection. And that's what's happening with closed back headphones. Let me show you this on a technical level, both audibly and visually. Take a look at this. Here we have some pink noise. We're looking at the frequencies here. See how it's spectrally flat? If we duplicate this and delay it one millisecond, We see this effect called comb filtering. See those dips in the frequencies? This is what's happening in closed back headphones. We're hearing the original thing plus that same thing, say, one millisecond later. And when you layer these two things, you get comb filtering, changing the frequency balance. So this reflection changes how we hear frequencies. Not ideal. With open back headphones, you hear exactly what you're creating. And that's why we use them. Sound designers, music producers, anyone working with sound or even just listening to sound, you want to hear what the thing is. You don't want your headphones to change the sound. And that's why we use open back. I want to hear exactly what the sound is. So when is closed back better? There are three situations. First of all, recording vocals. Imagine you're singing a vocal. The microphone's here, the headphones are here. With open back headphones, more of the sound's gonna go into the mic as there's Nothing to stop it. With open back headphones, the sound just escapes, whereas with a closed back, it's mostly kept in the headphone, which in this case, when recording vocals, is useful, as therefore less of the sound goes into the mic. Secondly, closed back useful in public spaces, spaces where you don't want everyone hearing what you're listening to. Imagine you're on a plane with open back headphones. Everyone's going to hear what you're hearing as the sound goes into your ear, but also away from your ear into everybody else's ears. And finally, the other situation where closed back's better, loud environments. So what would be a good, plane, I suppose, might be a good example from that too. With closed back, you hear less of the outside world. as the closed back isolates you from it. Not perfectly, but a little bit anyway. So right now, for example, my voice sounds a bit funny because, well, I mean, some of my voice is going to my ears, but some of it's blocked out from the closed back. Whereas with open back headphones, I sound pretty much the same as it's, there's less isolation from the outside world. So if you have loud air conditioning or some other background noise that's interfering with what you're hearing, that might be a reason to choose closed back, as closed back better isolates you from the outside world. Something to think about. My name is Multiplier. Catch on the flippy flip.